All right, how's it going today, guys? We are going to be looking at the mixer today. The mixer is a RU machine. So your basic setup will be bronze burning box, bronze boiler, bronze turbine underneath the mixer because the mixer takes its power in through the bottom. Now, there are actually four different mixers. We are going to be talking about the base mixer today. There are four flavors of it. Recipe being two stainless steel plates, a stainless steel rotor, a bronze machine casing, and a bronze rod. The recipe only changes after that by doubling the stainless steel plates and the flavor of the other two parts so you'll have triple for titanium and quadruple for your tungsten steel for anybody that questions why it needs stainless steel uh the mixer is basically your chemical reactor so there will be lots of acids that are ran through this or created in there like our setup here is for sulfur dioxide to sulfur trioxide, sulfur trioxide to sulfuric acid, and then sulfuric acid and salt into hydrochloric acid. So that is the need for the stainless steel in the recipe. Now there is also five tiers of electric mixers which I usually do not make because they have a built-in efficiency loss of 50%. Um, but if you do not want to use a RU uh, turbine or engine to or motor to make this, you can go ahead and give it straight EU eventually. Just remember that it will be 50% efficient. It'll take twice as long for every recipe and take twice the amount of power. Um, like I said, there are also burning mixers and cryo mixers, and we will discuss those later on. The mixer for its inputs and outputs are as such. Items can go top or left, with left being the automatic. So if you put a chest on the left, it will automatically pull in through there. Through the top, you will need a pipe or a hopper. For the output, it is right for its auto and back. So therefore, if you wanted to pull anything from the back of it, you would need a conveyor module to do so but on the right hand side it will automatically output that's why we have a pipe here so it will automatically output to those mass storages the fluid input is through the top automatically left which for fluids doesn't really matter so much because you're going to be piping them in but like if you wanted to put a tank or something above it, it would auto pull from that tank or drum. And the outputs for your fluids are the right and the back. The back being where it auto outputs from. The right would require a pump to pull it out. So you will see here on our setup that that is our pipe coming out the back that is then going in through the left because that is a valid input for fluids and then for this one it comes out and goes to a tank that then comes back in and goes in through the top so you have a little bit of versatility there with how you want to put in your fluids and your items um, the main thing that the mixer is used for is for chemical things a lot of your acid stuff will be done in here 
can be also used for making sea foam, for making uh, water mix dye, for making chemical dyes. It can be used for making cement. Um, it can be used in conjunction with a smelter, which we actually have set up here. I will show a have a link to a video of how this works. Um, but this we are using as a alloy smelter. So you can put multiple molten metals in here, mix them together, and make an alloy. And I will make a small video explaining that setup and link it in the card up in the corner for you. But that is your basic mixer. Most recipes in there are 16, so you will not need more than uh, this basic setup to do them. The mixer also does up to four time, up to four processes at a time. Remember that does not save on the power or the time that it takes to do it. It just runs for in parallel and costs the same amount and the same amount of time as it would to do all recipes singularly. So um, that also goes up. So each tier you go up doubles for the um, processes that it can do at a time. Use that as you may. So that is it for the mixer. I hope you guys enjoy. Have a good one. Take it easy. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be glad to help you out.